In the U.S., there is an average of 250,000 guns stolen every year. Every four years, we're counting usually over a million guns stolen. And it was around 2014 that the number of stolen guns from houses became much less than the number of stolen guns from cars. Today, the vast majority of the guns stolen in the U.S. come from cars. But there's an interesting statistic in regards to these stolen guns that I think is something that defies a knowledge of anti-Second Amendment folks and defies the, the understanding of those who try to make and enforce laws. And it's really th this people are convincing the world um, and specifically the American voters, at least 50% of them, that all that gun crime that you're seeing out in the world is because of people like you and me, people who we go to an FFL, we pick out a gun that we like to carry, uh, we pass a background check, and then we secure that gun and we're responsible uh, gun owners, that, that somehow that's the threat because all of the gun laws only go towards that. Uh, but here's the statistics out of, you know, where are all those stolen guns going? Well, it's going to be no surprise that a vast majority of those stolen guns are being used to commit crimes. Well, how many of them? Now, before I get into it, I do want to take a moment and thank those of you who are Patreon supporters of this channel. We are able to paddle upstream against a heavy flow of algorithm that is against guns, it's against God, and it's against family. Uh, you put those three things together, uh, it takes a lot of effort to continue to go up this stream. And it's because of patrons like you that support this channel that give us the confidence to not really worry about what it is the algorithm wants, but what it is you want to hear and the things you need to hear in regards to the Second Amendment and in regards to quality of firearms, but most importantly, in regards to the Word of God as we watch prophecy play out in front of our eyes. So those of you who are the patrons, thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you feel called to support this channel to Patreon, that link is below. All right, so if we're losing 250,000 on average guns every year in the U.S., where are they going? Well, again, as it's no surprise, they're being used to commit crimes. Of all the violent crimes committed with firearms and all the crimes that didn't get violent but firearms were involved, it is going to be no surprise that 87% of the guns used were stolen guns. Guns not purchased at an FFL. Wow, really? So criminals are getting guns illegally. This is something that I have never thought of. Like, wow, I thought they just were going to, you know, so as, as the government passes laws that prevent me from buying guns, I thought that was helping us stop violent gun crime. You mean it's not? No, of course it's not. Very, very few guns used in crime have anything to do with a responsible gun owner who walked into an FFL and passed an FBI background check. Very few. And even the few that do, it's usually some sort of crime of passion and oftentimes used by somebody who actually was not the owner of the firearm in the home. Uh, it's more of a well, it's just, it's more of a domestic issue. It's not, it's more a crime against yourself or your family uh, out of passion is, is, you know, so those crimes are being committed. You know, the crimes inside the home are, you know, vast majority of those guns are the other 13%. So if you're out in the world being a responsible gun owner and a crime's going to come up against you, which I believe is what most Americans are fearful of guns for, uh, it's better to have a gun on you. Um, and that gun they're going to use was stolen. It was stolen. Uh, they didn't go into an FFL and use it. Uh, now, if you're involved in some sort of domestic violence, that gun may or may not have been purchased at an FFL. But if you're out in the streets 
and you don't have the violence inside your home, um, it's going to be a gun, stolen gun used against you. You know, and this is something that we just, we need to yell loud and clear whenever there's all of a sudden some sort of thing happens with the gun in America and the whole country's just demanding that we get rid of this gun or that gun. It's important that we be just as loud um, about the fact that that was probably a stolen gun, uh, you know, and, and even when it, you know, even like the, the, a lot of the crimes they're talking about, usually they stole it from like their parent or something, you know, it's irresponsible gun owner. You know, you want to push responsible gun, gun ownership. I'm okay with that, you know, because fools are leaving their guns in cars. Uh, fools are putting stickers on their cars that say, you know, here's all the guns I own and I support the Second Amendment and this car is protected by Smith & Wesson. They're like, great. And they break your window and steal your Smith & Wesson. Like, it, it, responsible gun ownership, I'm all for. Um, that would obviously eliminate uh, a lot of these stolen guns, which in theory would eliminate a lot of gun crime. Um, however, it's not the responsible gun owner's fault. And this is where we have to make it loud and clear by showing real numbers like these numbers. Um, we have to kind of begin to not just say clever thing, but show real data. Um, it's important that we fully grasp where the guns being used against us are actually coming from and stop trying to prevent my ability to prevent, protect myself. I mean, if there's 250,000 stolen guns every year and you know, 87% of crime is used with those guns, I need a gun and you do too. So uh, there you go. Any thoughts or insight on any of this, definitely put it below. Do want to take a moment and say most people watch this channel, not subscribers, click that subscribe button. It greatly increases the algorithm and our ability to get these messages out. That link is also below. But the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests. Please don't ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns.